Hi everybody, here's Christian from Teamwork Cast. And uh, Cthulhu. And this is uh, this is Monster Hunter. This is Monster Hunter Generations. Um, so for this game, we decided to do a let's play of this game because that's something we haven't done yet, Cthulhu, haven't we? No, we uh, you know we get through a lot of the online quests in the podcast over the years, but never really just gone through everything and talked about you know some of the lore and the NPCs and things that go on in the game. It'll be kind of interesting to do a different perspective. Yeah, we haven't done like this in a very systematic fashion. So we rolled brand new characters for this one. Roll in in, in parentheses. Uh, and so we are now going to go through each individual quest, online quest. Um, we're not going to touch the village quests um, because, you know, we want to do it together. It's teamwork cast, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go like through all of the quests. It will take a long time because Cthulhu, you played this game... This is a long game, isn't it? It's ha This one has the most content out of any Monster Hunter. As much as content is within 4U, this game has more. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, uh, they break down, but is essentially, like, um, there is technically, like, two fewer large monsters in this one, but there's mm -hmm. no variance like there were in For You, so there are lots more unique monsters, which means lots more new unique quests. Um, because you don't have, you know, you won't have that quest where you're like, oh, I'm fighting a Nargakuga and a green Nargakuga. Now it'll be, oh, you're fighting a Nargakuga and then, like, a Volvadon and then something else. So it'll be a wow. lot of fun. Um, yeah, so it's called Monster Hunter Generations, so they basically took all the contents from all the three, four generations of the game that came out so far, so the first Monster Hunter 1 and 2, then Monster Hunter 3 Unite, then Monster Hunter 4, and that's it, I guess? No, Try was also... Yeah. No! Uh, well, so Try huh. is sort of in there. We have the third gener... We have uh, the three U and Try maps, but we don't have the village from Try and 3U. Instead, we have the uh. village from Portable 3rd. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so again, if you're if you're into Monster Hunter series, uh, there will be a lot of nostalgia trips, and you will see a lot of content that you weren't able to see, perhaps because um, Monster Hunter um, Three, no, which which one didn't appear on uh, the in Portable Third. Portable Third didn't appear in in, in the West, um, so you're gonna get to see some content that has, hasn't appeared in the West yet. Uh, and you haven't, if you haven't seen any of the Monster Hunter stuff yet, if you're new to the series, then uh, you will, uh, well, you will see what you missed all all those years. Yeah. All right. So let us let us. We're gonna try to. So I am the guy on the left. I am the the guy. I am the per, I am the old guy with a huge sword. Yeah. And you are you are a cat, Cthulhu. Yeah, I'm a cat. That's a new feature. Yep. Uh, known as prowlers, and uh, mm -hmm. basically you get to play as the palicos. <laughs> and, the Pelicans um, are your your helpers in this game, and you're yeah. the, the, the little cat that help you out um, if you don't and, have friends. And uh, I played the Japanese version of uh, for Cross, and I never played as Hunter. And I had a hundred like oh. hundred sixty hours in the game. So nice, <laughs> nice. nice. So we're All gonna right. show off some some of the content of the. Maybe you're gonna at some point we're gonna switch around. Maybe uh, uh, we're gonna show you some other stuff. But first of all, we're gonna show you some of the content of the Palicos because they are new. So let's start talking to some of the people here. Let's start yep. finding our, our our own way here. All right. So we've got our guild manager. Look how many times do I have to tell you? You rushing me isn't going to get anything done faster, eh? Oh, you must be the new hunter the chief was talking about. Sorry to snap at you. Uh, you were another researcher bugging me for test result analysis again. Let's start over. I'll give you the official spiel, even. Welcome to the White Academy. The White Academy is the preeminent authority in the study of monsters that inhabit the land we live in. The White Academy Village Center here is sponsored by the Hunter's Guild. You hunter types normally call it a gathering hall, but it's not exactly inside, or even a hall now, is it? Please refer to it as the Hunter's Hub. Anyways, now that the formalities are out of the way, let's get you registered. There you go. Congratulations. You're now officially registered as a hunter. From now on, you're a member of the Hunter's Guild and a licensed hunter for the White Academy. Whenever you want to take on a request from us, just speak to the lady over here at the quest counter. She'll be happy to take care of you. What's more, you're free to use the facilities here as often as you like, so take advantage of them. There's a shop with items useful for your hunts, a place to grab a quick bite to eat, your item box, basically everything a hunter needs, all in one convenient place. 
Um, I should also mention the prep area. The path gate leads to the prep area. You'll find a lot of useful amenities there. I've arranged for you to have access to it, so be sure to take a look. Now, if you want to know more details, just talk to the hunter standing right over there. That's about all I have to say, young hunter. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action. Woo! Hunter rank increased to one. That was easy. We haven't even fought for the monster. I know. Um, <laughs> so let's talk to somebody else. Right. So we'll start with the hunter over here. Uh, whoa, you're the, that new hunter from the Y Academy, right? Well, that makes two of us. We can be hunting buddies. They've got so many neato places here. The hunter's hub for us Y Academy hunters, for example. At the end of the path is the prep area. It's all decked out with facilities aimed at us hunters. And when you're online with your buddies, you can go over there without dropping your connection. I tell you as a noob, this guild thing goes a bit confusing. Connection? What does that even mean? Anyway, the Y Academy manual says if you leave the Hunter's Hub for any other area, you'll lose this connection. And by the way, people who aren't registered as hunters get no prep area love. That sounds what? kind of dirty. That's so, that's, <laughs> if you yeah. haven't registered yet, be sure to register with the guild manager. Um, so, over here, since he's talking about over here, we can just come through here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is basically your forge smiths, your bed, um, oh. cat management. Like you'll be able to. You can't recruit cats, but you can do all of your, you know, palico uh, training. Oh, so it's so it's like quest. a tiny online village, basically. Yep, very tiny. Uh, you can do most things here. Um, well, that's neat. So you don't have to ag exit to the village to do some stuff. Yeah. So you got the smith here. Smile. Hello, hunter. Let me guess. Is this your first visit to the prep area? Ow. Figured as much. If it looks like you had given it away as a noob, then you smell. Your smell certainly did. Hey, I take it. I lick myself every night. <laughs> Smile. The prep area I, 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 is conveniently located next to the hunter's hub for all your quest uh, preparation needs. <laughs> Man, this I have guy to is, say, I, this guy is so bipolar. <laughs> I have to. I have two things to say about this guy. First of all, he's a huge weeaboo. Yep. Second of all, man, he's also, like, really nice looking. Yep. The gift couldn't be bothered to hire two people, so I have to do double the work as the armory and the smithy. You're also free to use that item box here. <laughs> it lets you change your gear. Just <laughs> You can save your progress by sleeping on the bed. Uh, that probably <laughs> covers all you need to know. Good to see you. It's like smile, scowl, smile, scowl. Yes, I tell you, this is this is so <laughs> awkward. Uh, welcome to the only Palico Armory in the world that is officially recognized by the Y Academy. This place is different from average shop. Take a look at this Y Academy stepped Palico gear. Hmm. You want to know what the difference is? Uh, well, you see, the items here are actually made in Berherna, so it's pretty much the same as the village Palico Armory. But we're the only officially recognized by the Y Academy. No doubt about it. Uh, just take a look at your possum merchandise. Everything purchases an air of intelligence and class. Welcome to the one and I don't know. So this is where you'll uh, build your palico gear. Um, and palico gear is used uh, scraps. Use the scraps so you'll break down items. So you, every time you craft real gear for your human stuff, you're going to get scraps. Yep. And those scraps can be used for your palicos. Yep. Or you can just Take the 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 material and break it into a scrap. It's pretty. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Tulu? Be because I don't need it. <laughs> We've got the heresy. Uh, heresy. Our girl meow chef. All right, this way. It is my pleasure or pleasure to welcome you to the feline. Uh, you may call me the Gurmao Chef. I serve as General Meowniger and Head Chef of the Bistros. <laughs> Under my strict supervision, or as I like to say, loving guidance, the Bistros are a roaring success. I know that our customers enjoy the finest dishes prepared by our loving staff each and every meal. In addition to those memories, they leave each and every meal with increased oh, health God. and stamina. If you Stamina. wish to partake in my del culinary delights, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Sit down and elegantly ponder the menu as you select a dish, Aww. and then a sauce to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> I shall bring you I... a dish that will whisker you right off your feet. <laughs> However, my dishes are gourmet delicacies that are to be savored, not overindulged. Oh, would you look at the time? I must tend to my cheese. Well, I'll see you around, friend. 
I have to say, the, all the cat puns are doing wonderful things to my brain. Uh, they, they, they hurt me a little bit, but... That's this is the, what the, AMR the must feel like. Yeah. Oh. Uh, arena, what tarnations do you think you're doing? <laughs> you do know that you're heading towards the arena, huh? You can't just waltz in there, green horn. There are rules to the arena, and I, the arena instructor, are going to learn you. To put it into simple terms, the arena is where you try to complete a quest as fast as possible. If it's not too difficult for your thick skull to absorb, we can move on. Got it? Good. Now, there are two rules to the arena. You can remember two rules, can't you? Number one, eating food has no effect to you. I know your flirt little furry pukes are going to pitch a fit about that one. Number two, you can't bring your weapons or items to the arena. You've got to use what we provide. Remember those, and you should be golden. Don't forget to check the leaderboards to see your best times. No shame in failure, but there will be if, there will be if you disappoint me. Do not disappoint me. What will it be today? <laughs> Glory or monster chow? Wow, this this guy is serious. Yeah. So this is where you can have like a special quest, like arena quest, where you don't actually need any equipment. You get like you get equipment from from the quest. Yep. And they like timed quests. Yeah. Um, it's, basically it's like a, boss fights. Time. Yeah. Boss fights. Essentially, time attack runs and stuff. It's a hmm. something we'll probably do at some point, but Definitely. much further off. Ah, uh, fellow hunter, have you had a chance to hunt with your friends yet? Simply tap on the hub icon in the world map and then select multiplayer to play a game. Choose either of the two options that are play with people nearby, local play, to play a local game with your friends, or choose either of the two options that are play with far away people, online play, to play a game on the internet. If you want to make your own game, select create hub and search for players to join. When you wish to join somebody else's hunt, select hunt search hubs for a game. Also, if you choose to play with your friends online, you can search by your friend's ID or by hub ID. Just remember to mind your P's and Q's when you play online as you represent the prestigious Y Academy. Those are the basics. If you need any information, you can check your hunter's notes or help on the world map. I have to say, when I went to university, I wish they would give me like clothes, clothes like this. This is I know, really right? Paper. I mean... This looks really sweet. Yeah. I mean, look at that hat. You just want the hat. You just want a feather in yeah. your head. Yeah, I also like the jacket, though. Yep. Um, mm. Then we've got our item shop. The findings from the last geological survey still need... Oh, forgive me. My mind was still on my research. Welcome to the guild store, supported by both the guild and the academy to supply hunters with useful items. Except they couldn't supply a full-time store attendant, so here I am with work piling up. While... Anyway, we carry the same items as in other markets, so take a look. If you feel like it, just make it quick. Alright, and then, you know, your normal shop. Basic materials, um, you'll be here a lot. Not so yeah, much if you're playing playing as a, a as a if you if you decide to play as a prowler, you really will never use items. Um, so the shops and things aren't as big. But if you're doing anything as a hunter, you will be herbs, hot drinks, cold drinks, picks. You'll you'll be here a lot. So one thing that we're going to do maybe today is um, you can buy the herbs, which kind of heal you a little bit, but they're not really effective as a healing items. So something that I'm going to do in our first quest is we're going to try to create a potion. I'm going to show you how to create a potion. If you are new to the game, that's a very important skill because you will need a lot of potions. Yes, lots and lots of potions. So, did you pick up any herbs? I We're going to we're gonna get them in the, in the, in the quest. Okay. All right, I, I would now say. the big... The big final showdown. Hmm. Well, the White Academy gal. Hello, congratulations on becoming a registered hunter. Oh, sorry, I have to do my serious voice. <clears throat> Welcome to the White Academy branch of the Hunters Guild. As a representative <laughs> of the guild, it is my duty to manage the quest counter and uphold the principles of the White Academy. Whew. With that, out of the, with, with, was that official enough for you? So many formalities. There. Totally unnecessary, mm. if you ask me. Anyway, whenever <laughs> you want to go on a quest, just come and see me. Oh, I have to whip up my serious voice again. Um, hunter's Hub quests are mainly for multiple hunters. Each quest has its own level, which is designated by the total number of star icons that it has. Those levels are numbered from one star to seven star. Basically, the more stars there are, the harder the quest is. In general, quests with 1 to 3 stars are considered low rank, while 4 to 7 stars are high rank. Now, for the safety of you and the other hunters, the Academy and the Hunter's Guild have strict rules. Simply put, your hunter rank, or HR for short, determines the level of quests you may undertake. 
HR1 hunters can only take on one star quest, while HR2 hunters may do one star or two star quests, and so on. In other words, there is a direct correlation between your HR and quests you are allowed to handle. Of course, there's an exception to every rule, including this one, but for now, let's stick to the basics. Obviously, since you just arrived here, you're still HR1, which means I can only give you one-star quests for now. Whew. I'm sure you enjoyed sitting through that as much as I enjoyed saying it. Oh, I almost forgot, when you take on a quest from this counter, head out through the departure gate over there. And when you want to participate in a quest with another hunter, take a, qu uh, take a look at this quest board when playing with other hunters. Posted quests will appear here. Of course, you can also take quests aimed at multiple hunters by yourself, but that's just crazy talk. All right. So wow, our first Trudeau, quest. I'm, I'm impressed by your by your voice acting skills. <laughs> this is this is this is this was some serious stuff. Like I was like I wasn't sure if you were talking if you're actually reciting your text or if that's the real you, man. I wasn't sure. <laughs> You were you know, that acting. You know, if you're going to read text, you got to do some kind of inf inflections to it, you know? I'm not going I'm not, I'm not to do the girly voice, because that just hurts the throat too much. No, um, no, that's good, that's good. So, All right, so our, our first quest. Um, so, do we want... I think we'll just skip, go straight for the quest and not worry about the Harvest Tours, because those are no, just... No, 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 we're going to do the Harvest Tour today. We're going to go Jurassic Frontier, we're going to get All right, the potion. All right, we're going to do that's that first? All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one thing we wanted to do... Uh, like we have is uh, unfortunately people can't see it on the our, our videos because the the text uh, appears on the bottom screen. But we're gonna go oh. over like the NPC text for each of the quests we take as well. Yes. So, interested in gathering in the Jurassic Frontier, young hunter? Take this quest and you can gather as much as you like. Just deliver the paw pass ticket when you're ready to come back. So here we go, off to the Jurassic Frontier. Good luck okay, out there. So these are, so these are um, gathering quests. The the harvest tours are gathering quests. So you don't have to actually fight any monsters. I mean, maybe the monsters will pop up. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the the idea is that you can just gather as much as you want, and uh, you can like end the quest anytime. Yeah, it's just a way to get resources. And normally, so, when you go on these, yeah. you know, you want to make sure you have uh, picks and bug nets if you want. Ores or insects. Um, as a as a palico, you don't need those, right? Correct. As a palico, you don't need them. So, if you're ever just going to go out and gather, unless you um, need specific um, armor skills for things, uh, palico is really kind of like the way to go. You can just run forever and gather forever without having to worry about anything. Um, All right. So we're gonna like, get. Looks like we have a monster. Uh, so we go. We, you grab the map from the from the blue box. Yep. Um, and there's I, there's also like the paw pass ticket. That's the thing that you have to deliver to the red chest if you want to end yep. the quest. So that's how you end the gathering quests. Yep. And and so we're gonna try to get a potion, right? So there, right in the front here, there is like a like a herb gathering spot. Let's let's get some herbs. Herbs. You also get unique firms. What are you? So that's something odd about so, this new game. The translations are a bit different this time. I um, feel. So unique firms are um, like a account item, uh. um, which will grab you uh, white academy points, which is a currency other than Zenny that you'll use for stuff. Um, and they're also like the objective of a number of quests. Um, for those who, when uh, you can see the. My view, you'll also notice that uh, on my map, I already have the monster uh, highlighted, the large monster. Why? Uh, because Palicos get auto tracker. Oh, that's so ge so neat. So you know, they're, they're, Palicos uh, are or the the prowlers are really designed to be a very much a uh, a nice little support. Um, they can stand on their own, but you know they have a lot of little things that uh, make them beneficial to. Uh, the hunters as well. Uh, and so okay, so now, so now that we got um, herbs, uh, the second ingredient for the potion is the blue mushroom. All right, so mushrooms are typically in cave areas. Mm. So we'll probably want to head to three. Mm -hmm. 
that's really like the, the the very simplest there's a lot of things that you can create out of different items mm -hmm. but the potion is kind of like the simplest recipe that you really really need to learn the otherwise oh. the other recipes you don't really need to at what? first at least mushrooms right here you, oh I, it's not for me the the, oh. the things spawn in different locations apparently yep did you get some blue mushrooms i did get some blue mushrooms Cool. So now that we have the blue mushrooms, um, we could also try to go for a mega potion. And for that, we're going to need some honey. Mm, honey. Uh, where is honey in this level? I don't know where honey is here. Uh, oh, you know what? I bet it's up at number six. Yeah, I think I saw some in six. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, I, I found my mushrooms gathering spot. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm looking around in six, six for some honey. Uh, typically, most of the, for the most part, honey and ores and mushrooms will always be along the outside of a map. Hmm. Um, plants and seeds uh, will sp will be you know kind of all over the place. So if you're looking for specific things, you know, you can, there's certain areas you can run around a, a map to find out exactly um, a little bit easier. And it's especially a bigger thing on like these large areas like this. There are not too many like this one where it's just so large where you can't see where all of the materials might be. So um, you found a bunch of herbs, but here, no honey here? No honey here. Um, um. Let's see. Maybe we're gonna find in five, or or yeah. maybe downstairs in the in the when you jump down, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. In here. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore as well a little bit. You can, for the most part, ignore the small monsters. Yeah, as long as you as don't basically aggro them, they're not gonna um, get in your way too much. Oh, here it um, is. In four. You found in four? Yep. Oh, where exactly in four? I didn't see it. Oh, oh the, uh, th yeah. the four. Yeah, yeah, got it. Cool. So, uh, Tulu, can you show off how to make yep. the potion now? So, uh, now that we have everything we need, uh, we can go to our... Um, we can hit start to pull up our menu, and we can go to combine. Um, there's technically another way to do it via combined list, um, and we've, well, right now we have it listed, basically potions and mega potions will be listed, but there's a lot of these things that are question marked. In order to unlock these, um, you have to have the items that it requires. So most people uh, will use the combo list because it's faster, mm -hmm. uh, but you can also use, uh, just through here, you can go find your herb and you can go find your mushroom and then from here uh it'll ask you if you know confirm so we'll confirm and we made our first potion yay um, now if we wanted to do another potion and make it into a mega potion we select our potion and go to our honey and combine and we now have a mega potion yeah um, and then you can see the same thing here through the uh the combo list screen itself. I can just go here. I hit potion, and then I go mega potion, and now I have two of each, or two, two mega potions because I I converted both potions into mega into potions. mega potions. Yeah, and so that's basically how you make potions. And I think that's going to be it for for this quest. Let's return and re return the paw pass ticket. All right. And and so basically, like if you're having problems with a monster and you're losing a lot, I think it's a good way, good idea to stack up on the potions. Make sure you have ten normal potions, ten mega potions, so you, you really uh, are prepared against any kind of huge damage that you're going to receive from the monster. Yep. Yeah. Um. And one thing and for anyone who's new to Monster Hunter, the there is. It's all about being prepared. Like yes. You're, you need to take that. You need to take that little bit of extra time to make sure you have the materials to go fight. Uh, people who've played the series a longer time will run around not having full potions or whatnot because they feel more confident. But always just go prepared. 
Um, make give it your best, and hopefully you learn more about a monster and uh, gather lots of materials. Yeah. So yeah, the blue chests is where you get like supplies for your for quests, at the, especially at the beginning, and the red chests is where you have to deliver the the things that you have to deliver for the quest if you have to deliver things for the quest. Yep. That's how it works. And then we have some time cool down for people to to figure out some stuff before uh, leaving the quest. And we finished our first quest, Cthulhu. The I first know. quest on a huge journey. One quest down. How many to go? <laughs> a million. <laughs> million. <laughs> million. All of all of the quests. Uh, lots of quests. Uh, and then we're going to send all of this stuff to our box. And then we get a bunch of useless statistics. Yeah. Lots of... Universe is now level 2! Oh my god, you got a lot of meat. Yep. Did you Meats. kill somebody? Um, maybe? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> maybe there's a dead body maybe. in the closet. <laughs> There were some mice. Nice. What can I say? I couldn't. I couldn't stop myself. Quest complete. All right. So we're gonna do this. The way we're gonna do this, we're gonna make a one quest per episode. So this was the first episode. It was a bit longer because we had to get and prepare, uh, explain everything what we're gonna do. The next quest is gonna gonna be go way quicker. So I hope you join us next time. And as always, good luck and good hunt. Bye bye. Bye bye.